the Jordans in Frankfort, Kentucky. Speaking of Kentucky, hey, the Jordans, what's up? Yeah, Tom, how you doing? I'm well. You? Uh, we're very good. Fortunately, we are a little more uh, familiar with Kentucky politics since we're right here in the capital city, uh, the most liberal city in, in Kentucky, actually. But I just wanted to, first of all, correct a couple of things because you're mischaracterizing my state and mischaracterizing what happened last night. Okay, please correct uh, me. Matt Bevan did not run with or on Kim Davis. Uh, that was not one of his major tenants, and uh, that's just flat out wrong to. to Why am I that. seeing all anyway, these pictures of him with Kim Davis and her husband? I, if you're seeing them outside of the state of Kentucky, they must be played out there because they haven't been played in here. What I will tell you happened is Jack Conway spent seven million dollars in a state that is heavily democratic. We've only had one Republican governor in the last forty years. Right. He spent seven million dollars. Matt Bevin, not Bevins as you call him, spent one point nine million dollars and won uh, handily last night with almost a ten percent margin of victory. So I'm just I'd like to know first of all. You know, if the Koch brothers and, and people who donate, have, if money has such a big play in politics, what happened last night? Right. So if your numbers are right, uh, Jordans, then then what does this say? That, that Jack Conway was a lousy candidate? I would, I would say that it says money doesn't buy politics. The man spent more than three times more than his opponent in a, in a state in which Democratic well, administration you, you don't know that. almost two you to do, one. You, no, no, you do not know that. You cannot say that. If, if, I if, can't say what? You can't say, if, there were, if Matt Bevins had a super, if Matt Bevin had a super PAC, and he almost certainly does, you have no idea how much money that super PAC spent. It doesn't have to be reported for another six months. You okay. don't, right, you know, the campaign might have spent $3 million. The Super PAC might have spent twenty. All right, I can tell you this, Tom. I've been, I've been in this state for the last, you know, for, well, since this campaign has begun. And I've witnessed the barrage of attack ads that Jack Conway played on Matt Bevin. And, and Matt Bevin is playing against, uh, just went against Mitch McConnell last year, who ran a right. flurry of attack ads against him as well. Right. Money, much more money was spent attacking and against Matt Bevin than Matt Bevin spent. That's just a fact. Well, yet, again, you don't know that. This is the problem that we've had since Citizens United is you can't know how much money was spent. You can't. There, you've got 501c3s and 501c4s that don't have to report how much money this. They spent on ads? No, you don't know. The TV stations do not report this. The 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 your your uh, 501c3s don't have to report it at all. The 501c4s don't have to report it until long after the election. Only the campaigns themselves have to report it, and the campaigns spend relatively little money. This is the th- you know the, this is like election 101, uh, Jordans. I agree with you on reporting requirements. Some of that stuff needs to change. However, there, there's simply no doubt that much, much, much more money was spent on the Democratic candidate. Seven million dollars reported, one point nine reported for the Republicans. That's Let's- from the that's the hard money from the campaign. Again, you don't know, and none of us know. Thanks a lot for the call.